Oh, is this lens all nasty? They don't, if they like receive like a different signal, they don't receive signal for too long, they like do that and they go back off. But they've never done that before. They did that, uh, uh, yeah they did, they did it at, at a mini-thon on the diamond. I thought I was losing signal to the rig, turns out I wasn't. And they did it at a uh, Manchara gig on the drummer. Those are the last one on the drummer and I was like, why does like... Isn't that cool? Okay. All right, so here in my garage, <laughs> and we set up some stuff for the gig, which is like two weeks away. It's not this coming Friday, it's next Friday. Today is Monday. And we haven't set up like a pre rig like deal to program in person in a while, but this is a special gig for a special friend, and I uh, want to do a really good job. So I actually don't know how much I'm going to be out here working on this. Because, like, we're also using the whole house rig, which I can show you here. But those aren't pointed correctly. Anyway, you can see we have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, anyway, it's not very helpful. You'll see what it looks like at the actual gig. So I'm going to be doing a lot of programming to, like, he has, like, a rough draft of his set. So we're going to, like, rehearse some stuff. It's going to be a really good show. I'm going to do a lot of programming in Visualizer on, like, a TV and stuff like that. But I'm gonna come out here to kind of confirm uh, some things. So it should be a pretty elaborate gig log. Hopefully enjoy it. See how it turns out. It's two weeks away from the, uh, from the event, so it'll be a while before you actually even see this footage. But yeah, just wanted to show you a cool thing. And um, yeah. Okay, people, we have a guest. <laughs> this is Nick, Akoff, and we're about to start the rehearsal, and we're going to see what he thinks. What do you think? Dude, insane. Absolutely insane. I'm so excited. You heard it here first, kids. Okay, guys, so now, um, now it's Friday. It's another day of the event. It's 2 p.m., 2.30. Doors are at uh, 9, and... We're going. We're going there now. I don't know if I said this earlier. I think I did. It's at Club XL. It's a pretty new venue. It opened uh, earlier this year. This is our first time doing a show there. I was. I did a walkthrough there earlier. Um, so it should be hopefully pretty cool. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of information from the venue about like stage or running DMX in front of house, stage plots. Uh, I don't even think like their production manager is going to be there at 2 30. I don't know when he's showing up, but I think their video guy is going to be there. Um, In a quarter mile. But uh, right we're, gonna, we're going there now. We have, you know, six and a half hours to set up. Not really, but ish. So hopefully we'll get something working. I'm, I think I think we will. I think we will. That's an exaggeration. Um, but it should be a pretty good show. Let's see. We're going to be there in like one minute. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. There's no gates, so they're just like, don't come! So, my guess we were, yeah. is we're gonna be here for the next half an hour. We were gonna be there in a minute. Sure I was there. wrong. I'm sure the I was wrong. to go slow because he knows You know, it took like easier. two minutes. Dude, I'd love to be a train conductor. You'd love to be a train conductor? It'd be so nice, like, I'm not around here, this is boring, but like, doing like across the country stuff, you're just chilling on a train. Watching the world. It's like truck driving, but no stress. <laughs> truck Except driving when you run into people that are sitting on the tracks. Well, no, I was talking like cross country stuff because um, there's no, you're, you're not getting anybody. Oh my god, this thing's slowing down. If this <laughs> stops right here, can you imagine? Wow. No, we're, we're good. We're good. I can squeeze past now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now, but okay, what if I had to? <laughs> but, uh,. Um, I'm gonna not start on the until Nick gets here. Until Nick gets here? Yeah. That's the ramp we're gonna use. That is?
Okay, so everything is wired, power and DMX, everything is addressed. Um, we're wired into the house rig. And Doug's doing stuff from the floor, checking and then moving uh, up there later. It's so bright. <laughs> yeah, okay, so check this out. This is our normal setting, 1600 ISO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see you, actually. Yeah, I bet you do. You literally are so blown out. Warm. This is starting to get hot. Like I'm starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> I had to stop down so much. So, so I don't know much this space is gonna distort my voice, but um, we're all set up. It's 7:20. Doors are at nine, I think. But I'm good. I'm ready to go as much as I can be. Like, they have some weird interference issues with their rig. Like, really weird. Like, if I'm running any signal through their stuff, it just it flickers and turns on and turns off in weird places. Like, it's really gonna ruin the vibe of a lot of these, like, intimate moments. Um, but we're up in front of house. This is where I'm at. I know there's gonna be comments like, you're not using the MA, Doug. MA is better. Why aren't you using MA? Uh, I don't <laughs> like it as much, guys. I like AVO. I programmed on AVO. MA is fine. I could have programmed a show for AVO, but like, MA. Uh, for MA. But I just, I'm like, more comfortable on here. They let me bring it. It's four universes. Like, you know, it's all cool. So, yeah, I personally like MA for my workflow. If you like AVO for your AVO workflow. For workflow. <laughs> if I was gonna use MA, I would just make it feel like AVO. So I might as well just use AVO in the meantime. Yes, there are some features that make MA nicer for larger shows, but this does not qualify as a larger show to me. So, I like AVO. Um, yeah, a Nick's on I think at like 10. Um, and then we gotta like strike the stage before, like look at this, look at this. Like, oh you missed it. Never mind, too slow. So, we gotta like strike the stage before, uh, the headliner on Kid Out. Uh, just like Man of the Totems. Hopefully get the rest of it down. But we're also running two DMX lines up from here because they said they had one for us, but it didn't work at all. So, we can't clean up this until everything's over. But hopefully we get home by like one. But that's not that bad at all. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, like, I'm not, we're not doing that. I don't, I'm not, that's not even patched into my show. And it just turns on and off. And a lot of their shit's doing that. It's, um... So, 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 so much for coming out. Um, let's get this shit started.
met some people, did some net networking. Uh, you know, club was great to work with. Uh, yeah, just overall, we didn't. We thought it was gonna go well overall, and it went better than we expected. Even though we thought it was already gonna be good. So it's just, it just a great night. It's only two o'clock. We honestly could have been out of there faster, but we were just we were just chill. And it was a good environment. It's a cool building. Cool people talking to talking to the dudes. So yeah, going home. Went great. Check out the full recording. Check out Acoff. He's on SoundCloud and um, he's on Spotify. I know he's on SoundCloud though. We'll be a link in the description. So yeah.